Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Good Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, currently on the streaming account for Periscope and Twitter. Excuse me for just a second while I get a couple of things taken care of here. This is where we are seeing, again, the possibility of some thunderstorms into the forecast for the rest of the weekend. Looks like we are doing pretty good on our internet signal. At least I'm hoping so. There we go. Okay, looking good as we look into the area there. So we shall go ahead and switch from Periscope and Twitter back to our main Facebook page and get everybody involved in what's going on here with the forecast. Thanks for putting up with the technical uh, issues at this point in time. Currently Saturday morning and things are decently quiet around the Mid-South. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, live and direct from downtown Memphis. We are live this morning on Periscope, Twitter, and on my main Facebook page. Page, other email addresses and all kinds of other social media available in the red bar at the bottom of your screen. The social media networks here, also a lot more of them. I really have to update these bars right here because we got a lot more social media to talk about out there for this morning. Thanks to everybody for stopping on by. If you've got a question about the forecast or got something about weather in your particular location, we'd love to know about it. Drop it into the comments section. We'd love to be able to hear from you. Plus, if you've got pictures, please tweet them to me at aonic underscore w reg3 we love to see those pictures out there and show them around to everybody, but we can't show them if you don't send them. So you kind of see the problem here. We'll take a look at the forecast here in just a little bit. Again, if you've got questions directly, austin.onic at wreg.com and the complete forecast scrolling by here in the blue bar at the bottom of your screen. Let's take a look and see what's going on with radar at this time, which again, does not really amount to much. We did have an interesting effect taking place just north of us. If you look at the area right around here, you can see that expanding ring moving its way from just around New Madrid and Real Foot Lake. That is not rainfall. That is flocks of birds moving their way away from the radar site and up and away from the uh, Mid-South area, heading up into southeast Missouri, southern Illinois, and western parts of Kentucky. That's called a bird ring, actually. Don't see it too often, but it does show up at various uh, points in time out there. Rest of the Mid-South, little if anything really going on at this time. We have little if anything showing up in the way of showers or thunderstorms. Did have a little bit more activity and you can see a little bit of that left over into parts of northern Mississippi. We're just not looking again at a lot of major activity so far uh, from early on this morning. Marsha Couples, welcome from uh, West Memphis. Julia Cavallo from Walls, Mississippi. Thanks for stopping on by. Cliff Jackson, morning dude. Back to you as well, dude. Thank you very much on that. Uh, D. Leach from Jersey, or New Jersey. Okay, thanks for joining us. I haven't been there since my son uh, went to check out Rutgers around the area up southwest of uh, New York City in that particular location. Candy Tippett from Olive Branch. Welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us this morning. Let's take a look and see less about radar and what's going on throughout much of the rest of the Mid-South area. We do, again, uh, have the possibility, excuse me for just one second here, uh, this should not be happening. Let me see here for just a moment. There we go. Uh, let's see. Much better. Sorry about that. Had to, forgot that I had to get that thing scheduled on here for right now. From Weather Underground, we've got, again, some areas of spotty showers and thunderstorms early this morning. What you're looking at here, the weather map showing temperatures back into the mid to upper 70s across much of the area, especially right around the metro. So we do have some pretty warm and muggy conditions out there for right now. So your temperature is probably very close to what this is like. You can check out more about this on their Wonder Map at Weather Underground underground.com or wunderground.com if you'd like to see more about that. Josephine Sowell Williams, welcome from Horn Lake. Patsy Lee Tucker, thanks for stopping on by. More from the Mid-South area on our News Channel 3 webcams from the Weatherbug Network. You can check out more about what's going on here across the Mid-South at wreg.com slash webcams. few scattered showers, again, across northern areas of Mississippi. That's the main area we've been watching for showers out there across much of the Mid-South. Some more scattered showers up around Paducah heading eastward into southern Kentucky and more areas of showers and thunderstorms out into around portions of western Oklahoma and northern Texas some going up into Kansas, but not that much, and more activity like that as we go into the course of the rest of the next couple of days. Now, what we're going to be looking for is, again, the possibility of the more of these showers and thunderstorms as that stationary front sticks around down to the southern sections of the Mid-South. This is going to be the best possibility of picking up thunderstorms 
in the area. We'll get some thunderstorms early this afternoon. Those will die off with daytime heating tonight. We'll get more chances of showers and thunderstorms as we go into tomorrow. So expecting more possibilities of showers and thunderstorms off and on throughout the course of the rest of the weekend out there. So keep the umbrella handy. It's not going to be a total washout, but it is going to again be the possibility of more scattered showers across portions of the Mid-South and unfortunately some thunderstorms out there. So remember again when thunder roars, go indoors. Let's all be careful out there. Mainly hot across the Mid-South and as we get into around uh, the evening hours, one or two of those thunderstorms, especially in northwest Mississippi and back into around southeast Arkansas, that's where the National Weather Service is saying the possibility of, again, some thunderstorms south of I-40 could be on the strong side. Sam Reichard, welcome from Olive Branch, former mayor and current meteorologist. I uh, hope everything's going well. We'll see if we can get some of your cameras featured here on Daybreak coming up in just a little bit. Very hot this next week. Heat index temperatures pushing 105 degrees. That could be a bit of a problem in for outdoor activities out there. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on in the forecast throughout the rest of the day today. Temperatures, again, expecting to see some very warm conditions out there, mid to upper 80s across much of the Mid-South. So if you have any plans for outdoors, uh, especially if you're in town for Elvis week, if you're in town for that, welcome to the Mid-South. Area. Thanks for joining us here, and hope you're going to have a great time uh, with everything going on across the Mid-South, but stay cool. You're going to need, again, that extra water bottle out there to make certain you don't overheat, so please keep that in mind out there. Rest of the forecast, again, into the rest of the day. Chances of showers and thunderstorms, kind of, sort of, but just not looking at a lot of activity out there. Low temperatures tonight dropping back into the upper 60s to lower 70s with those isolated showers and thunderstorms most numerous over parts of southeast Arkansas and back into around northwest Mississippi. High temperatures tomorrow, a little bit cooler thanks to all the cloud cover and the rainfall out across much of the Mid-South. More chances of showers and thunderstorms, 20, 30 percent, approaching 40 percent down toward Tupelo. Low temperatures Sunday night, upper 60s to lower 70s. Not much is going to be changing there. And as we go into Sunday night, low temperatures in the mid to upper 60s to lower 70s, but also that chance of showers and thunderstorms sticking around. Clouds and rainfall, not great news for those of you trying to get out and catch the uh, Perseid meteor shower out there. Uh, this is something that's going to have to watch out for. Hopefully some clearer skies out there tonight, but unfortunately not great news for everybody uh, in and around the Mid-South when it comes to meteor watching out there. Uh, we'll take a look at the seven-day forecast on daybreak. Looking better for Eclipse Day. Not exactly great, but at least better anyway. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. 99L into and around the area. Hey, my, get, get back down here. Michael Gates. Audio operator extraordinaire, hey stopping by for a little bit. How you doing? Uh, check me out on Instagram. <laughs> This, this this guy's got it going on. He he know he knows what what to do in this business, and a great guy all the way around. And more musical talent in his little finger than I've ever had in my entire life. So, uh, follow him on Instagram and on Twitter. A great guy to follow on there. Uh, this one 99L 70% chance of development in the next several days. So if you're planning on traveling up to say uh, Florida or the East Coast states. This is something you're going to have to watch out for. So again, it's going to curve fairly close to the East Coast. Hopefully not a problem for the East Coast, but that's something, again, we're going to be watching over the next several days. Taking a look at the forecast, again, as we go toward next Monday, it's looking less and less like chances of showers and thunderstorms will be around and about. An isolated chance possible. But here's the good news, and we're looking right over here, more partly cloudy than anything else. So less of a chance of showers and thunderstorms. That's the forecast for right now. Things are changing by just a little bit out there. Uh, Marsha Couples, protective glasses to watch the eclipse. Very good advice. Uh, you can also get, I believe it's welding glass number 14. You can use that to look through, and you can get that from places like Next Air uh, here in Memphis, and hardware stores should have something like that. So think about that uh, to, if you want to use that out there. We do have, again, the Perseid meteor shower taking place right now. Again, could be some meteors out there between the clouds tonight. Get out and take a look anyway. Go out and see if you can see something. Uh, take your kids out there for a while. Try every once in a while to see what goes on. Now, here's the interesting thing. If you can't see anything with the cloud cover, try this website out. It's called livemeteors.com. The radar dish sends out a pulse of energy and that bounces back off of meteor trails in the atmosphere. So you can use this to listen to what goes on. Let me see if this works at this time. Unfortunately, I've got 
um, the microphone on so I can't tell if there's any audio going on, but you should be able to hear kind of a hiss coming on through if you can hear anything at all. This is the waterfall display that shows the signals, and you see those tiny little sparks right there. That could be meteors slamming into the atmosphere, burning up, and then the radio signal reflects off that trail of dust and gas, and you can still hear the meteor shower even if you can't see it. Again, that's livemeteors.com. Great place to go to for more on that. I'll post more of that on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash austinonicwreg. Also on my Twitter page, more, a ton more information there. And don't forget about following Mr. Gates. Great guy to follow on that. And on my Instagram page as well, aonic, no underscore necessary, wreg3. I'll be live on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network with weather throughout the rest of the weekend. And we'll have a lot more coming up as well on News Channel 3 Daybreak uh, throughout the rest of the morning with me, co-anchor Nina Harrelson out there right now. Speaking of which, i got to hop out to the set and get everything taken care of there, so stay tuned for more with our complete forecast on that and also on weather overtime as well. So stay tuned for all of that on News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend with yours truly. Thanks to everybody for stopping on by. Marsha Couples Monday School starts in West Memphis. Good luck to the teachers and the students out there. More coming up on Daybreak. Join me there and find out more about weather at wreg.com slash weather. Thanks for joining us for early Saturday morning on Periscope, Facebook, and Twitter. And stay tuned to News Channel 3 for more throughout the rest of the weekend.